Hello everyone, what's up, and welcome back to another review of The Bad Batch. Today we're taking a look at Season 3, Episode 4, A Different Approach. Picking up right where the last one left off, we have Crosshair and Omega hurtling through hyperspace, their ship burning, and they come, you know, out of hyperspace, and they are now on this kind of really backwater planet. I mean, this is just looks like slum town. I was going to say USA, but it's it's in the galaxy. <laughs> it's a different galaxy, for, you know, that's a long time ago, who knows? and far far away um so yeah lots of uh lots of slum town stuff going on here also something i noticed that i kind of want to call this um reused assets the episode because there was a lot of there was a lot of stuff i recognized that was uh repainted architecture and stuff from previous animated star wars stuff um, I think the big one is that the little spaceport docking bay that they had was clearly just a repainted set from Gorel from Star Wars Rebels, um, season one and season two. <laughs> then um, Trandoshan, I mean, it's like it, there's they've had those Trandoshan designs since like season three of Clone Wars. Um, let me let me think here. Uh, a lot of a lot of the animals were reused assets from different. Um, from from different episodes of like Clone Wars and and stuff like that, and then I think like the overall makeup of of the town, it's like they like copy and pasted lots of different um areas of like Pantora and Ord Mantell and and stuff like that that they've used before. So not not knocking it for doing all that. I, it's a it's a very smart use a reuse of assets, and ninety nine point nine percent of people aren't going to notice any of those things. But I'm. <laughs> I'm in that, you know, point zero, you know, point one percent or whatever that is going to go. Ah, yes, this is a reused location, technically. Um, and even even like the the cockpit of the ship they steal at the very end, I'm pretty sure it's just modified, co you know, cockpit set from the ghost from Rebels. So that's that's kind of funny. Um, so, and again, like I said, smart reuse of assets, not knocking it. It's it's not it's not going to be obvious to the majority of people. Um, so it's 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 not a it's not a complaint. It's just me pointing out something. But uh, yeah, overall good episode. I really like seeing the crosshair Omega dynamic and how it's just like completely different from the dynamic she has with the rest of the Bad Batch, where even when it was early days and they were on their own and the boys didn't really know how to take care of this little girl, even then they were you know, way more comforting. And, you know, it's like if she would suggest something, it's like, well, that's not going to work. And here's why they'd be, you know, the, they were trying to be, you know, older brothers, parents, etc., what have you, where crosshair is just like, nope, we're not doing this. We're doing, we're doing it. We're doing going to do it this way instead. Cause, and, <laughs> and he's very gruff and stern about it, which, you know, it makes sense based on because he's, he's crosshair. So, um, so yeah, it was cool to see them kind of, you know, as, as a pair with uh batcher, Hang, hanging out too as you know it's like now now they've, now they've got a dog that one imperial officer is thinking to himself and i would have gambled my way to riches if it weren't for for these two clones and, and their meddling <laughs> meddling clones and their dog <laughs> um so yeah um so so yeah i mean it's a it's a pretty simple episode you know they they land, they crash, they, you know, they get into town, they find disguises, they figure out a plan. Um, Omega swindles some people, which is, which is pretty fun. Um, you know, they have, they have a shootout that one poor stormtrooper goes flying, uh, cause he gets caught up in the, in, in the shockwave from the, from the engines igniting, which was kind of funny. The, the, that scream they put on and it had just faded out as he left screen as he exited screen left. Um, that, that was funny. So, I mean, yeah, no, it's a, it's a real, it's a, it's a good episode. Um, uh, I just don't, it's just, uh, a, a little basic. There wasn't a whole lot going on in it. It was basically just, you know, kind of action, action. And not action as in, you know, they're having a fight scene. But, you know, there was a lot of, there wasn't a lot of time where they just stayed put and talked about anything. It was a lot of move, move, move. We're, you know, we're going, we're going, we're progressing the, the story here. Which, which is, which is good, which is fine. Um, and I'm, and I'm glad they didn't spend, you know, like half the season with it just being Crosshair and Omega on their own trying to find the rest of the Bad Batch. Uh, we have a re we have them reunited at the end of this episode, and it was very heart heartfelt, very heartwarming. Good to see them back again. Very, 
you know, very well done. But it does leave you on that uh, what note there at the at the end where where, you know, Crosshair comes down the steps and uh, I'm like, D- you had to cut it there. You had to cut it there. So now I'm just eager to see where the next episode picks up. I'm assuming it's probably going to pick up immediately. I I have to, I have to imagine it's going to pick up immediately because there's no way they just cut to a couple hours later and they're like, well, what do we do with Crosshair? And he's just like sitting all grumpy in one of the seats in the back of the Marauder or something. I, f- I feel like we have to, I feel like they're going to have to address that like immediately. And given the little stare down standoff they had like that, I feel like that's probably going to be, that's probably going to be the case. So, um, so yeah, very eager for next week. Um, and you know, if it, if it weren't so early in the season, I probably would have actually waited until next week to do this review. Um, because I just don't really have a whole lot to say about this episode. I mean, I've kind of said it. It's like, yeah, I enjoyed it. I don't see any, it's not, it's not like that one episode in season two where they go to the mining company to get their ship back after it's stolen. And it's just repetitive. It's, you know, it's repetitive and full of cliches and stuff like that. I mean, this episode isn't necessarily, you know, reinventing the box or any you're thinking outside the box or reinventing anything either. But, uh, but you know, there's nothing, there's nothing offensive here. It's, you know, it's a, it's a solid, you know, we're progressing, we're progressing things episode. And I just don't really have a whole lot to say, but I've been going just a little over five minutes. So, uh, yeah. Um, so, and so, like I said, I, if, if this weren't literally episode four of the season, then I probably would have waited a week and done two episodes in one go here. But given that we are still early, I, w- I wanted to, you know, get something out uh, for Friday. Um, so that way you all had something to, to listen to, even if it is shorter. Um, and then to just to not interrupt the, uh, the, re- the release schedule. Um, now, if this were like, you know, more than halfway through the season, then after watching this, I'd go, yeah, I don't need to do a review this week. I'll just do a, I'll just do a two for next week or something like that. But given this is literally the, you know, the second week of the show being back, I didn't want to leave you guys hanging. So, um, yeah, that's overall my thoughts on the episode. I just, unless I'm just, I would just like really miss something. Um, I don't really think there's, there's just a whole, whole lot to talk about with this one. Um, and I don't, and I don't think I, I missed anything. Um, Scorch shows up for about five seconds as per the, as per the usual at this point. Um, I suppose, I suppose Nala say is about to be slated for execution. Um, it, I, it'll be interesting to see if they, you know, kill her off or if she sticks around. Um, it, it would be kind of interesting if they, if they adapt the storyline from, the Republic Commando novels, where where several kind of rogue clone troopers kidnap a Kaminoan scientist, um, who in, who who in the in the expanded universe was the you know chief geneticist on the clones Kosai, where here in canon it's uh, it's Nala Say it seems like, um, but they kidnap the chief geneticist Kaminoan and try and force her to try to work on a on a cure for the accelerated aging to slow down their accelerated aging. So they don't, so the clones don't burn out as quickly. It would be interesting to see if they kind of adapt that a little bit. Like if that, if like, if they managed to rescue, um, Nala say, and like, that's the, it's like, well, what am I supposed to do now? I'm a geneticist. I will. What's my purpose at this point? I'm, you know, I'm not just going to stay on the run forever. And they're like, well, you could work on a cure for accelerated aging since we're only like 12 years old and you're 13 years old or whatever. And we look like we're 30. So that would be helpful. So I, I kind of wonder if, if they're going to do something like that with her or if they're going to you know kill her off near the end of the, in, end of the season. So um, and then cl- clearly something's going to happen to Hemlock. Um I really hope Scorch doesn't die, cause just just because Republic Commando nostalgia, but uh, 
Yeah, um, I managed to stretch this to about 10 minutes, but I really don't have any, I'm just really stretching trying to figure out anything else to talk about. Um, there wasn't a big crazy cameo or anything this time. Um, Ventress didn't show up yet, so I, I guess I guess we'll have to wait and see how she, she factors in. Um, you know, Palpatine wasn't in this episode, so yeah, I'm just kind of... Going on, going on at this point, even yawning. So, so yeah, no, good episode, and I'm very much looking forward to next week. So I'll, I guess I'll just cut it there because I don't, I'm kind of out of things to talk about. So, all right. So uh, thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that great stuff. Remember to follow me on Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, those links are in the description below, and I'll see you guys next time when hopefully I have much more to talk about. And uh, I'll see you guys then. So thank you for watching. Goodbye.